I really hope this girl never watches this video. Oh my god, I really hope she never sees this. So I know you guys love listening to awkward stories of mine and weird stuff that happens to me. I'm going to tell you this story about when a girl tried to kiss me. She was actually a really good friend of mine at some point. I just never realised she was a lesbian and I never realised she liked me till she tried it on with me and some weird stuff happened. This was like a really long time ago and I can't believe I haven't told you guys this story. I used to work with this girl many, many years ago. At the beginning, we didn't really talk that much. She was really quiet and obviously I was quite new so I was quiet as well and as the kind of months and years went on she actually was quite a good friend of Iman. They used to like hang out occasionally and then after a while I made really good friends with Iman and then I used to hang out with them a little bit as well. Let's call this girl Ruby. Okay so bearing in mind Ruby is Indian. She lives with her mum. As our friendship like we got closer and closer we started kind of going out with her a little bit outside of work we started having meals together outside of work like not just the two of us but like three of us together me and Amon used to always have this thing where we're gonna sound like proper perverts here but we used to talent spot at like four o'clock every day because we were quite young here maybe late teens early 20s or something when work got really really quiet my boss is gonna kill me if she ever sees this but when it got to kind of 4 4 30 every day we used to stand by the window and check out hot guys that used to walk past the window and that was just the thing that we we did at 4 30 like every day and this girl ruby she always used to be with us but she never used to make any comments about any guys that walked past but if a girl walked past she'd always make a comment about how she looks hot or how she looks sexy or how she's got a nice ass at first i thought okay that's just another girl checking out another girl and that's normal because I think most girls do that kind of thing maybe they just don't say it out loud oh the other thing like every now and then she used to slap my other friend's ass which we always thought was a bit weird but again we just kind of ignored it and all the text messages started with hey baby hey baby but again never thought oh my god I'm so stupid looking back on it now we became really really close and we used to go out together we used to go on holiday together like not abroad but we used to go away and stuff a group of us she started to get a little bit too close for comfort to the point where she would start telling me that she wanted to come and stay at mine or she'd start inviting me around to hers to stay the night but I find it a bit weird that in your 20s you're still having like sleepovers which is different because me and Amon used to do it randomly but that was only because I couldn't be bothered to get up and drive home but with this girl Ruby she used to consistently invite me around to stay and invite herself around to stay at mine and I even got to the stage at one point where my mum goes is she a lesbian and then my dad's like she is a lesbian and I was like no, no no don't be stupid like she's not a lesbian it's fine like chill out it doesn't really matter if she is it really doesn't matter okay so I, basically I need to get this out there I've got nothing against lesbians apart from the fact that this girl, I think, was one, but just couldn't admit it because she was Indian. And as sad as it is, like, could never, ever, ever come out and say it because of the fact she was Indian. If she had of admitted it and she hadn't have been embarrassed about it and she had of just come out, I would have totally supported her. She never did. And she never admitted it. And it was, like, really awkward to kind of see in hindsight. It kind of got to the stage where she was a little bit too in my face all the time. So every day after work, she would ring me. Every weekend, she'd want to come around. Every weekend, she'd have something planned for us and then it got to the point where it was just like the two of us and it got a little bit weird you know then she starts telling me how to dress and what to buy and I was just like this is getting a little bit too weird now at the time I was so unbelievably stupid and didn't realize what was going on and then one day we were supposed to go to one of my friends like Mindy parties Ruby said to me what time do you finish work do you want to go together and I said oh I'm on the early shift I'm just gonna go straight after work and take my clothes with me and she said oh I'm on the late shift but I need somewhere to get changed so I said that's fine go to my house my mum will let you in and then just get changed and then obviously come to the party because I thought I don't want to wait around plus I need to help everybody set up the party so I go to my friend's Mindy party and I'm waiting and then Ruby doesn't turn up next thing I know I get a phone call from my mother and my mum's whispering and I'm like mum why are you whispering she, she was like sneaking around the house and she goes Trisha when's Ruby coming to see you and I said mum she's supposed to be getting changed and then she's supposed to be coming straight here and she went Okay, well, I just went to make her a cup of tea and I went upstairs to the spare room to give it to her and she's not there. And I said, well, where is she? And she goes, she's sleeping in your bed. And I was like, what? Wake her up. Why is she sleeping in my bed? My mum's like, I don't know. I told her to go to the spare room. I showed her to the spare room, which she's, she goes to anyway because she sleeps in there. And she's now sleeping in your bed. Oh, my God. 
this is really weird. And then my mum made like a joke and I was like, this is not the time for jokes. And she goes, I hope your underwear drawer is closed, Trisha. Inappropriate time for inappropriate jokes. Like just wake her up and get her out. My mum was like, can you just ring her phone and wake her up and get her to come around? So then I rang her and I was like, what are you doing? And she goes, oh, I'm just taking a bit of a nap. And I was like, okay, well, everyone's kind of waiting for you. So why don't you just come down? And so that was the first weird thing that happened. And then the next thing that happened is she was having some hen party for one of her friends and she didn't want to go by herself because she hadn't seen the girls for a really long time so she invited me to go with her and stupidly enough I just went yeah that's fine let, let's go. It was a bit weird because I had like obviously money in my purse to buy drinks and buy food and stuff with and she said oh why don't you give me your money and I'll look after it for you and I'm thinking I clearly have my own purse like I don't understand why you have to look after my wallet it's just a bit weird and they were like we were buying drinks and like having drinks and it got to the point where I was a little bit on the tipsy side and I didn't really care because I didn't know anyone there they weren't my friends they were her friends so I was clearly gonna enjoy myself and then we were dancing on the dance floor and this guy like totally caught my attention he was endless like why t-shirt he was wearing these really nice jeans and he was a really good dancer so I just happened to kind of glance over at him a couple of times she obviously saw and she obviously didn't like so she literally came up and danced like right in my face and then she went like to go and get a drink and then she came back and well while she came back the guy had like approached me and was dancing we we're just having like a little conversation she then comes in so Ruby comes in right in the middle of me and this guy she puts her arm around my head so I basically effectively cannot get out of this headlock and she leans in for a full-on on snog and I was like oh my god I might be drunk but I'm not that drunk and I totally just sobered up after that this is really weird you're supposed to be my friend I can clearly see that you're into women but you haven't said it and we've never had the conversation and now it's just really awkward because I feel really uncomfortable I wish you would just admit it and then we could just sort this out and we could speak to your mum and it won't be an issue anymore but she never obviously admitted it and by this point people at work had started saying oh we think she likes you and I was like don't be stupid my god I hope she never watches this video then what happened was I had to go and sleep in her house after this and she she wanted me to sleep in her bed with her. So I was just like, oh, I'm really, really hot in here. Do you mind if I go and sleep in the spare room? So I grabbed my stuff, went to sleep in the spare room, and it was all fine. She obviously thought I was too drunk to remember what happened, and I clearly remember to this day what happened. And then the worst thing is, oh my god, and then as if this situation couldn't get any worse, I then got home and told my mum what happened. My mum was like, I told you, she's a lesbian. And then my dad said, you know, it wouldn't be a bad thing if you became a lesbian, Trisha, because that would save me paying for your wedding. You tight little Indian man. And then I text one of my friends at work who said to me, basically Ruby's a lesbian, but she's not obviously admitting it. And I text this girl at work to say oh my mum thinks Ruby's a lesbian as well and I accidentally sent it to Ruby oh my god and the worst thing is like you press the send button you realise for like a split second there is nothing you can do about it you turn your phone off because you think well what if it hasn't quite sent if I turn my phone off it might just cut it off completely but oh no when I turn my phone back on about half an hour later I had a text from Ruby ha 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 what the fuck what is that what your text about and I said Oh, no, my mum was talking about another Ruby. And then she laughed and she went, oh, I thought you were being serious for a second. And I just thought, oh my God, like, I'm totally freaked out. This is so weird. I've just gone and, like, messed everything up and now she's going to hate me. If you were a lesbian, this is your perfect opportunity to tell me and just let let us deal with it. Meanwhile, her parents have been trying to set her up with all these guys. She went on one date and then she never saw them again. So the whole time I've known this girl, she had never consistently dated a guy. She'd always gone on first dates that her parents were trying to set her up but she never actually had a boyfriend in this time and every time I had a boyfriend she'd make comments about me not spending time with her and she wouldn't like them and she'd be really rude to them it must have been really really hard for her I don't speak to her because our friendship got really really weird after that situation and then she left work so I don't really speak to her anymore I really hope now whatever she is doing she found herself and opened up to her family I might be totally wrong I might just be completely misreading signs she had every intention on getting married and everything like that which is really sad because I think her parents obviously were quite traditional I just really hope she finds her happiness and I really hope she can eventually be who she needs to be seriously if you guys know anyone 
in this situation. You need to be a better friend than I was. I just got really freaked out because I thought she was trying it on. And I mean, she did try it on. And she kept slapping my ass like towards the end of our friendship, which was also quite weird. Tell me if you're in this situation and what you would want a friend to do. Because now I look back on it, I was probably the worst friend ever. Even though I probably, in a way, if she did like me, I probably spent too much time with her. So I might have given her the wrong impression. But I had boyfriends. I never used to talk to her the way that she spoke to me. So I don't think I gave off any impression. And clearly, like, I wasn't attracted to her. It's just really weird. Like, I just hope she finds peace wherever she ends up doing in her life. And this is one of my awkward stories because this stuff always happens to me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.